You've signed up the best. You're on a great quest to find the mighty mother load. What's up, everybody watching? Today was the release of Blizzard Entertainment's newest Hearthstone expansion, Kobolds and Catacombs, that was announced at BlizzCon 2017. Now, I just got done busting open my packs, created myself a nice little Miracle Rogue deck, had to craft King's Bane, but it was worth it. I'm loving what I'm seeing so far out of this expansion. Now, originally, I swore I wasn't going to do it. I swore I wasn't going to buy packs. I swore I was done with this because of the salty taste this game can leave in your mouth sometimes with RNG. But after solo queue and Overwatch, I think I'm more than prepared for a return to Hearthstone. So, what better way to do it than buying some packs, crafting some new decks, and playing this brand new dungeon mode. Hell, I'm prepared, everyone. Now, I don't really know too much about the dungeon mode so far, other than bosses get progressively harder as you go on. So, might as well start this out, because this is going to be a gameplay and my very first impression of Hearthstone, Kobolds, and Catacombs Dungeon Run. Now, let's read the intro to it before we get started. Within the twisting tunnels of the Kobold Empire await treasures beyond imagining. Choose your class, delve into the ever-shifting dungeon. Sounds easy enough to me. Dungeon run. Select. Go back. It has a move for me, not you. I do take candle. That's probably gonna be the quote of the night. Adventurers wanted, I'm in. Sign me up. Many monsters you are finding in Cobalt Empire. Every fight be making you stronger. Or dead. Sounds good to me. Challenges. We have a giant rat to face. The bane of every young adventurer. Okay. Giant rat. Who so we're going to be... daring to come for cobalt treasures? Sword swinger? Sparkle flinger? <laughs> sparkle flinger. I like that one. I'm going to start calling mages sparkle flingers. Now, uh, I don't know who I should play here. Warrior or rogue are the options. You know what? Let's, let's go out of the ordinary here. Warrior is my main class in this game. I'm going for the Golden Rogue. I created a Miracle Rogue tonight. So I'll be playing some more Rogue in Standard. We're doing Rogue. See how this goes. Tipping the Bard. Really gets you in the mood for that gameplay. This sounds like it's going to be rough. A giant rat. Watch so they actually give you decks. I'm going to keep Huckster. SI7. Do I really want this? Not really. I don't think... I guess. I guess. Why not have an extra two drop? I was debating on tossing this guy, but... I guess we'll keep him. That works as a start. You are finding me small and weak, but so is you. This one here likes to talk some shit. Small and weak, just like you. Of course. Small and weak, I should have seen it coming. Maybe I should have saved that for a bigger threat. Ten. Wait, this looks like it's gonna be easy. <laughs> you wanna buy a Play Huckster. I didn't even realize it. Let's see what happens if we threaten the rat. Hmm. I have nothing to combo with, so I guess we'll keep our little stealth guy. Let's go right for the jugular here. He's only got eight health. We do have fan of knives in this deck, I'm certainly hoping. Give me fan and knives. No fanish works. Fanish works all the same here. All right, we'll just remove them. Here we go. Buy one. I've lethal next. I guess they weren't hitting and it starts out easy. Let's see what the new map is about. Flipping some coins. Playing with some shrooms. Dude. Buy one! 
I thought I was the casual here. This one's just going straight face. I'm down to six health. It's whatever. First, I guess, level of the dungeon is cleared. Be taking loot now. <laughs> Classic adventurer. What loot do we got? What do we get for this? I'll take it. I'll take it. There's a number of cards I need to get here. Warrior related cards. So we're gonna get a new quest as we go. Defeat five dungeon run bosses and we'll get another pack. Oh, big treasure. Ooh. You was picking one. Only one. Make good picking. So they start you okay, I see now. So it starts you out with a short deck. Minimal health, you choose cards as you go deeper into the dungeon. Alright, let's do this. Grimash is arm guards. Passive, your weapon costs one. I don't really have a weapon here. Passive, your minions have permanent stealth. Passive, your death rattles tr triggered twice. I think I'm going to go with death rattles triggered twice since I have Unearthed Raptor and Undercity Huckster. Your minions have permanent stealth. Am I reading this correctly? This... This... Means anytime I play a card, my minions have permanent stealth, or I have to actually play the treasure card. Weapons cost one, passive. Well, let's go with my original choice. Why not, right? Cards you are picking now. Cards for being in your dungeon deck. Cthune. Cthune's chosen. Twilight Elder. So we can go with like Cthune Rogue here. Cold Light Oracle Sap. Two collectors, whenever this attacks, add a random card to your hand from your opponent's class. This could be a lot of fun. I don't want Lore Walker Cho, damn it. Exhaustion Cult of Cthune. Hmm. I really want to take the Cthune. Sap Cobalt Oracle. You can draw into some of these. I already have Vanish, so let's go with Cthune. Let's go with big old Cthune here. One dungeon run is to be fighting eight monsters. One for each finger. There's more than one way for a kobold to dig a tunnel. Pathmaker ham, here we go. I'm liking this so far, it's definitely unique. You guys gotta let me know if you've played this, what you're thinking of it so far. First impressions looking pretty solid. Valera versus Pathmaker ham! Watch your back. <laughs> Some time. Okay, so I have a Sinister Strike. How much health does he have? I kind of want to keep the Raptor. We're going to keep the Raptor. I'm going to ditch the Sinister Strike. Deals three damage. If they have low health, I guess I'll keep it. I guess I'll keep it. I don't know how much health this guy's going to have, but if it's anything like the last one, three damage is going to mean a lot. So 15. Okay. It's a pretty solid bit of his health gone already. You'll be getting stronger. Monsters be getting stronger. Deals the damage to random enemies. Is important part of Cobalt Empire mixed market economic doctrine. What in the world did he just say? I will be your death. You'll take boom boom. If I place pit snake, I'm gonna get boom boomed. Thank you. You'll take boom boom. All right, we'll pass the turn. <laughs> Two random enemies would have just nailed him to the ground. Alright, we'll go ahead. I think it's best to hold this. I'm gonna hold the poison. I mean, hold the attack and wait for the poison since he's so low on health. So we start out with 20. Backstab, goddammit, that's not what I want. Um, hmm. Hmm. Nothing to backstab here. Here go we go. Attack. Equip. Add some poison. We got that point of damage. Now we have the weapons up. <laughs> Do anything except chuck explosive? Wanna blow That's something up? <laughs> okay, this is good. We can make a little bit of a combo here. This guy's toast. He deals damage to random enemies. Do I want to put poisonous steak out now? Let's put it out and take a chance. Down go. to 10 here. I have Sinister Strike, so this puts 
lethal on board for me. If, yep. Oh, I love that card right there. One of my favorite cards in the game is that Frothing Berserker. Oh. Hey, GG. Lethal. Level 2. Moving right along with this. Hope I'm getting credits towards a golden rogue. I have no idea if that's gonna happen. Be winning more fights, be taking more loot is Cobalt Way. Ooh, Tomb Pillager's solid. Tomb Pillager's very solid. It's a death rattle card, right? Yep. So that would go very nicely with my Raptor. Genzo the Shark, whenever this minion attacks. Until they have three cards. I'm not sure about you. Taker's Oil, Blade Fury. I want the Tomb Pillagers. Yeah, I want those Tomb Pillagers. It just blends with the Death Rattle. Elder Brandomar. The bane of magic users. This Furbolg can counter any spell. Well, good thing we don't have that many spells, right? We're only a rogue. Shit. Pushing gold into piles. We're going deep. Watch your Definitely don't want to keep Cthulhu. Your magic finds no purchase here. If he counters spells, I probably want to get rid of this shit. Not liking my starting hand here at all. It's a little better. Yeah, this is a little better right here. What's your spell? Death rattle. What? What the? Put a counter spell secret into the battlefield. Okay. Not quite sure what that means, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough, right? Don't try too hard with that taunt right there. It's better just clear it. Since I want to save the raptor, I'm going to play the stealth, and if nothing good comes up, I'm going to use my hero power and just dagger that shit down. Especially since it seems like he counters all these spells. That's not a bad card either, so we'll just we'll go with you instead. Twilight Elder can go out there instead of the original plan. We do have Cthulhu in hand, and if it does make it that far to turn 10, we want him nice and buffed up. Burning down cards. Down to three. That works for me. Cthulhu's chosen. Get rid of the taunt. Cthulhu's at nine. It's gonna be ten after this. Beautiful. Play with the treasure chest and see what we can get out of this. Seems like he has quite a bit of taunts that you gotta shuffle through. No death rattles yet. There's our death rattle. Beautiful. Mercy City Huckster. Give me death rattle cards. I guess they'll stay alive. I don't have a choice here. This will give me more draw, so I'm gonna use my raptor and my death rattle. So everything he has is a taunt. That's the name of the game. He counters your spells, I'm guessing. We'll find out momentarily, right? Yep. Okay. Well, good thing we have you here. Well done, Tomb Pillager. Should have lethal next turn. We're rolling here. This one's for the Nash right here. What you want? Buy one. Sure. Why not, right? On to the next one. Only I forgot to taunt him to see what he says. I guess it's wise advice he gave us. Go away, only doom awaits. Because that's what happens when we take candle. And I do take candle. Choose another treasure. I think we even drew a treasure yet. 
Choose a minion, summon a copy of it, add it to your dungeon deck. Choose a minion, summon a copy of it. Magic Mirror, that sounds pretty good. Alatoric Cube. Shuffle both decks together and no. I'd prefer not. I, I bet that, you know, that card could be useful later on because I'm sure bigger bosses are going to have bigger minions. Take control of an enemy minion, add it to your dungeon deck. These are interesting choices right here. Very indecisive when it comes down to doing this kind of stuff. So we have three down. Choose a minion and summon a copy. Add it to deck. Choose a minion and summon a copy of it. Add it to your dungeon deck. Decisions, decisions on what do we do? Take control of an enemy minion. Shuffle both decks. I, I, I'm gonna go with Magic Mirror. I don't know why. That was my first reaction. Was go with Magic Mirror. Since we're, it looks like we're rolling with Cthulhu Rogue at this point, this is a pretty obvious choice. It looks like here at all these cards. So Cthulhu Rogue it is. Womp Whisker, a Cobalt Berserker who never fights alone. Let's see how this one goes. Three down, and so far the first three weren't too difficult. Digging some tunnels or digging for gold in those tunnels. Valera versus Womp Whisker. Watch. Okay, so we could use that on turn one, Magic Mirror, and see what's up with that. I do take Candle. It was just there. It was fucking there. I had to do it. Make a shot game out of this right now. Every time I say I do take Candle, take a shot. I'll just pretend that someone was going to do that. Alright, pass it. Let's see what we got here. What the hell? I can't play that. What? This isn't the card I thought it was. I thought it... Not okay. I thought you'd get selections on the screen, you'd pick one and it would go to your deck, but apparently it's not the way it works. I'm going to go with the Huckster. You want to buy a okay. This is a hell of a two-drop in my opinion. That's it. Oh, that did not work out in his beginning. Oh, shut talk hole fight. What is this thing? Do I want this? It's like, do you want that? It's for eight? Nah, we don't want it. We're just gonna kill it. That really went in my favor. It's that RNG I love so much. At least we're at 30, 30 health. I still need to mess around with the stage. Uh, no, no, we don't like this. I guess I'm gonna have to clear that because if it turns into a seven attack, better to be safe than sorry here. Yeah, we could always put stealth out. Just dust this off real quick. It's terrible man. I had that, yeah, yeah, that was terrible math. I just lost two damage right there. Pay attention, Frozen, goddammit, man. Everybody fight. Do I want a Tar Lord? I really don't want a Tar Lord. If I wait. Choose a minion, summon a copy of it, add to your dungeon deck. Doesn't kill it, does it? Getting a little greedy here. All right, we're gonna use backstab. I could take five. I could afford five damage. So that right there is three, eleven. Oh shit! My stick. It's gonna be my whole turn and most of my minions, isn't it? Four attacks during your opponent's turn. Hey. I don't. I'm not liking this right here. I guess we'll trade out and see what we get as a death rattle. I will definitely take that. Unlimited attacks each turn. Can't attack heroes. Well, this seems like it works out right now. Yeah, looks like it does. We'll use Fool's Bane. 
foolish. Take quick ten. I wrapped it. It was nice. I'd rather have control of the board. that lethal? I can't attack heroes, right? Five, seven, no. No! Here we go. Son of a bitch. Here we go. Um... Anticipating the win already. This is this is a sloppy run. I gotta be more focused on the next matchup. Looks like I'm gonna be making it. What the hell? Can I do this? What? Yes. Oh my god. That's what it does. Okay. I wish I knew that beforehand. Well, there's definitely gonna be some lethal coming his direction this turn. Plug those taunts, boy. favorite cards in the game. I knew Cthune Rogue was the way to go. GG on that one. Womp Whisker down. This is a solid mode. Keeps you coming back for more the way they did it. Alright, what do we want to add to our deck? Vanish Caverns Below. I don't think that's going to work out too well. This is probably the best bet. Yeah, I would like an Eviscerate in my deck. So we'll take Assassin. I'll go with Assassin. Five of eight. Mush Huckster Max. You probably don't want the potions he's hawking. Let's find out if we want the potions. How many times we gotta tip this goddamn bard in this game? Alira versus Mush Hopster Max. I don't know. It's a pretty damn lewd conduct here by Mush Huckster Max. Giving it this with the overcoat. I guess we don't want to start with Magic Mirror. She's a minion. Summon a copy of it and add it to your dungeon deck. Now that I know what it does, do not want control of the board early? This might be a little more difficult. Backstab, I don't know if I, usually I would keep backstab as a rogue. Magic Mira, I think, I don't really have too much draw in this deck, that's what's killing me here. So I probably want to get rid of... I'm reluctantly getting rid of that. It's a little better. Okay, this, I like this start better. It gives me a 2-3 drop and backstab. This ability, Mushroom, Mushroom Craft, a custom mushroom Job potion. Done. This sounds like my kind of guy. I might have to take back what he was, I said about him before. I'm going to craft in some of those magic mushrooms. Alright, on we go. Back in her evil. Buff my Cthulhu up. He's got 40 health. Now I see what they mean. You want some? <laughs> Too bad. I kind of feel cheated right now. Originally he was offering us potions and now he's being a dick about it, saying too bad. We might have to Cthune him. Freeze a minion and add a demon to your hand. Oh god, these potions are going to be nasty. I'm going to go ahead and put the stealth out, weapon up. Push the attack. I'm assassinated if he plays a big minion, so I gotta hold that. Amazingly. I think I should be thanking him for that, right? 
wipe that out with a backstab. I'm gonna hold on to Fanta Knives, I think. Here we go. I guess I'll use Sinister at this point, and I'll just pass the turn along. Keep this board empty, I can continue to build up my Cthulhu Mushroom Mushroom. I will enjoy watching you die. Is this where I use it? That's a hell of a top deck. That's a hell of a top deck right there. I'll just keep pushing the attack. I know if I use that damn fan of knives to draw a card, it's gonna end up screwing me over in the long run of it. I'm expecting some huge spell to come out and just wipe my board. <laughs> that tastes like that. A good bad. You love my new recipe. Switching it back up. So I have, two, I have five, seven, I have eight, and I need thirteen. Eight, I need thirteen. If I do fan of knives, let's try and draw that eviscerate. And then I have this as a combo to wipe out one of his minions, and I could knock down one of the other ones. So I use this. this. Hmm. Here we go. Probably not the best idea to be sloppy with this, right? It'd be five damage I'd put to his face. It'd be two. It's a five four versus this. Let's go ahead and. Ha, this guy's toast. I was debating going face here, but I don't know what kind of spells he has. They're like huge buff spells, so I'm just gonna play it safe. Lethal on board next turn. Pushing a Cthulhu, I don't think he's surviving my Cthulhu. No, that's not good for you. Oh, he's back. Smell this. Side effects? No. Trust me. Side effects? No. Trust me. On to the next one. This way. <laughs> it's coming! Here we go. I don't even need the cards. See you later, Muck Huster Max. Whatever the hell that name is that you got going there for yourself. Beautiful. Looks like Rogue was a good choice. Four or five almost on a pack. Choose another treasure. Robe of Magi, passive spell damage plus three on a rogue. Does that last all game? At the start of the game, draw two cards. That might be pretty savage. Start with an extra mana crystal. These are looking serious. All of them are looking pretty damn good. What do I have for spell power right now? Eviscerate is the only thing I seem to have other than Fan of Knives and Shadow Strike. I don't think it's enough for me to get that. At the start of the game, draw two cards. That's pretty serious, actually. I don't really have that much of a draw deck. I have low drops, so I think I'm gonna go with small backpack. Backpacks! Not just for backs anymore. Could you tell me I get another Cthulhu here? Is this some serious gameplay here? I can get two Cthulhu's in my deck. That's disgusting. Let's do <laughs> Really? Do I have What? I have three Cthulhu's? certainly unique I'll give it that he wants to be a troll he cries for battle and rattles for death voodoo master vex three cthulhu's that's all I got to say is I got three cthulhu's in this deck that's pretty serious so pretty much on turn 10 I could wreck people almost guaranteed to have one in hand hopefully not at the start If I remember correctly with the backpack, do I get these cards at the beginning? I said trial by fire. Unearth raptor, choose... I love that. I love that raptor. 
I really like that raptor. Uh, it's bad that I don't want to get rid of any of these. I'm thinking what I can draw. Raptor's very good, even as just a solo card. I guess we'll use Tomb Pillager. Since I have a decent number of Cthulhu draws to build them up. And having an extra coin in hand, I might be able to get Cthulhu out on nine since I have three Cthulhu's. Alright, you do draw the extra two with the backpack. Job's done. So I'm starting out with a pretty decent amount of cards here. He's got 50 health, so just push the, push the attack. I guess I could wipe it out. Probably should take it out. I don't want to play my own Raptor. We'll do it. Uh, let's do it that way. I guess I'll hold my weapon charge. Oh, this A bomb over here. Will be your death. Five damage to your minions. Oh, you little bastard. Alright. Hmm. That's not what I wanted to see. I'm not gonna lie for right now. I'm still short. Oh, shit, dude. Death rattles trigger twice. No, this can't be the end. Guess I'm kind of stuck with the pillager at this point. He just wiped out his Sylvanas. That's a play I would make if I was trashed off a bottle of whiskey play in this game. The, the, what? What? Okay, I feel like they just handed me this. We're gonna have coins, no Cthulhu. This would be the perfect combo to use my Unearthed Raptor. And Tomb Pillager. Then I'd get... I'd be overdrawing myself, basically. So let's build up Cthulhu. Might as well. Let's build up the Cthulhu. So oh, yes it was. No, not this. Is this designed for the win? It's two damage with him, right? And Sheep does four. So I'm losing my whole board no matter what I do here, is what you're telling me? blow up to all characters what the it's coming all right we'll take the damage like a champ Here he does that there was no save in this we can still go ahead and do our tomb pillager unearthed raptor Son of a bitch. Side effects? No. Trust me. <sighs> Triggers twice. So what you're telling me is I'm beat here. Alright, I can at least get some minions on the board, right? 
get a couple coins here. Son of a bitch. It's gonna restore his health. And my health. Okay, so this game just got a hell of a lot more interesting. Let me draw some of those cthulhu's. I'm gonna keep the removal. This is ridiculous. This hand is ridiculous. Five coins. Piloted Shredder, where have you been? Oh my god, it's been forever since I've seen that. This is this is what we want right here. What's he at? 19? Keep you alive. Obviously, we know what the move is here. Get wrecked, bitch. I think I made the right choice for picking a Cthulhu robe deck to go explore dungeons with. Picked up another pack. This is going well. I like Trial by Fire. Defeat 10 dungeon run bosses. How many cards do you get? Let's just keep it going, right? It's gotten us this far. I mean, I could use the second Eviscerate. How many of these Cthulhu chosen? Look at, look at this early drop. Oh my god. Three Cthulhu's? This would be complete savagery. Um. I really want to take the Cult of Cthulhu again. I have three Cthulhu's chosen. I guess I should probably take the Assassins. Disciple of Cthulhu would be a decent bit of damage I could put out. Two Shadow Strikes would also be a solid bit of damage. If there's a backstab, how many backstabs are in my deck? One, right? Alright, we'll do Assassin. We'll be responsible about this. As bad as I wanted to get more Cthulhu's, it's just gonna be overkill at this point. So we're on challenge 7 to 8. This Kobold can candlecraft minions at will with 60 health. That does not sound appealing. Let's get ready for war. Valera versus Wax Monster Starmy. What? Don't keep the Cthulhu man. Don't be an idiot. Oh yes, the wax has eyes. Ah. <sighs> Is it worth keeping an Eviscerate? No, I got a lot of early minions. I don't need the Eviscerate right now. I want to try and draw into the Eviscerate for lethal. You'd have no idea what Mac Wax Mancer Strummel plays over here. At least I have my mirror. Passive, your death rattles trigger twice. I love this. Job's done. Nothing I could do here. Got a hunt hard secret. If it's freezing trap, at least it's a small minion. Ooh, so this is gonna be all hunt hard cards, is what you're telling me here. Don't be freezing, it's fucking freezing! I knew it was freezing. I didn't want it to be freezing. He'll take a. I gotta take the damn bear out. Son of a. Job done. I don't wanna leave a 4 4 up and deal with that turn after turn. Discover a beast. That's a 3? Oh, Alright, I guess. Twilight Elder. 
I don't get any of the benefits of this. I'm gonna be saving Magic Vera. Alright. The beasts betray me. Death rattle, give all minions in your hand. Wait, what? Battlecry, give all death rattle minions in your hand one on one. So this dude plays with death rattles, is what you're telling me. Alright. See, this is getting a little more challenging as we go. I don't want to get rid of my elder at this point. What does the toad do? Deals one damage to a random enemy. I do that. If... Mm. Difficult. I feel like I have a play here with these three cards. So I go here. Two damage here. So I could knock him down with the war. Uh, fa, I don't have that play. Okay. I don't have quite the play I was looking for here. It's coming! Do backstab costs nothing. I'm gonna take the damage here. Let's see where it hits. I knew it was gonna hit that. Do I wanna. Six doesn't do me much good. This maintains board control. I do have. I really wanna buff the Cthulhu. It's coming! Let's hope that doesn't backfire. Every time I go face thinking I should clear the board, it backfires. You are weak. So two, it's not gonna do it. So three damage. Draw a card. Well, it's a damn good thing that I have that fan of knives. And it looks like I will be getting a solid clear, so it's so far it's played off. Played off. Paid off. We know the Bat Rider is gonna hit the two one. Is that just? Oh, oh my! Hey, Holy lights shit. out! Here we go. All right. I feel like I should be saving Here this now. Just go. go, just go for it. Yeah, and we got two Cthulhu's coming up real soon. Just hold the line until they can come up and wipe the board clean. Some of the copy of the minion. Here, wax it. I will be your death. Wax Mansa! <sighs> now what's heck? The wise choice is to clear the damn board. Clear the hey, board. Lights out. Right? Yeah. God. I don't like how he has so much health and I'm starting to dribble down. So I'm gonna copy and add it to your dungeon deck. I'm waiting for him to play something big. Maybe I can match up with it. I don't think Buzzard was what I was looking for. He's got two Buzzards. And that's how he's gonna draw. Getting real close here. I play. I don't have a two drop. Whenever you summon a beast. I, okay. This is just me taking damage I don't need to take right now. Out there. We're getting there. It's on you, Cthulhu. Carry me to victory. One damage to random enemy, so I got one turn left before I could do that. Do I want to ship it? Do I want to ship it? If I ship it, I still can't. So I can put eight damage on him. He can get these three cards back and probably play them next round. Is there any way to clear this? I probably could strike here. I can clear the board. I mean, it's just going to hurt. Let's do it. He's going to deal one damage, so. Sorry, one damage to my hero. I'll have to play this stealth. Here we go. 
go. I don't like taking all this damage, but I don't want him having a board. This guy does not look like someone you want to leave with a board. So I'm playing seriously behind here. That is not what I wanted to see at all. Oh, shit. Thune is the god of the world. I can't take three damage. I just can't. Serious board control at this point. I'm not looking to lose it for some stupidity. Uh, second Cthune to follow. Yeah, just keep the board clean and move on. My dreaming ends. Oh, you dirty! He's gonna go. Firebat's gonna kill him off, and I'm gonna leave a minion on the board. I'm down to 17 here. I guess we could add the poisonous snake. First, the hero damage. It is getting steadily more difficult as you go. My dreaming ends. No! Not okay. Summon a copy of his minion. Yeah, I guess the only way I gotta do this is clear and then play my Cthune. Sleep. Do it. Push the damn damage. We're getting there. We're getting close. Summons a Cthulhu. Your nightmare begins. Sleep. That'll be his entire turn. So, I think Vanish is the way to go. I gotta push for lethal here. And why didn't those cards go back? Oh, I was gonna i I'm looking at this like, what? Way to troll the shit out of me, Hearthstone. This should Here we go. be good. I'm assuming he goes Cthune. I have no time for games. I have no time for games. Oh my god. Oh my god. Buy one! He takes the Cthulhu, I'm royally screwed. Go, do it, YOLO. Come on! Leave one of them alive. He takes the damn Cthulhu, I get what? I need three damage. Give me an eviscerate. Eviscerate! What is this? Oh my god. No! I feel like I could have had this six ways over by now. Are you fucking kidding me? What does this thing do? Summons two spiders? Oh! It's so painful. 
after your opponent plays a minion attack it. Nothing. Three damage is a rogue. I couldn't draw a deadly poison. Nine cards left that had two eviscerates in the deck. Are you fucking with me now? It's gotta sit. Oh man, it's over. <sighs> well, shit. There's nothing I could do. Here we go. I feel so violated right now. I just feel so taken advantage of. Two eviscerates left in that deck. And deadly. I thought I had this. I really thought I had this. First shot, I thought I was going to clear the whole damn thing. Oh, that's rough. What do we get out of this? What do we get for this now? Does this mean I could play her again? No, it's boss is defeated as a rogue six. So I took down six as a rogue. Oh my god, I felt like I should have had that. Sinister Strike was in that deck too. So I had Sinister Strike, Deadly Poison, and two Eviscerate. So I had four out of nine cards in this deck that would have been lethal if I would have just drawn them on that last play. Looking at this, that is a very salty, shitty feeling right now. Ah. Wow. Was fun, but man. Might as well go ahead and open the packs while we do this. Oh, such a bitter pill to swallow. Give me a legendary to make it feel better. Give me something good here. This is not easing the pain. Two packs. Nothing. Alright. Well, I have to admit, upon first impression, this was a hell of a lot of fun playing this dungeon run thing, and I will definitely be doing a little bit more of this. I know you could select each and every class for this, so that should be fun, trying to see how deep you can go, and being able to select cards as you go, that was a load of, a shitload of fun, to be honest. Being able to select your deck as you go, building up a deck with three Cthulhu's, I mean, really got me into the whole RNG style mode, into the fun mode. Damn it, that... Oh, the bitterness right now. One boss to go, four damn cards to draw out of nine. Oh, it's fun though. It's all in good fun, right? Well, this is my first impression of Dungeon Runs, everybody. Let me know in the comment section what you're thinking about Kobolds and Catacombs, the Dungeon Runs. Because I thought it was a hell of a lot of fun, and this expansion seems to be doing it. I'm really enjoying being back in the groove of Hearthstone at this point, and dungeon runs are going to do it. Looks like I have a little bit more to accomplish at this point. I think I lied a little bit earlier about the salt part, though, because it's still a little bitter right now. I was like, damn it, I thought I was going to one-shot it on the first try. You only get one first shot. It was that close. One boss away, if I would have just finished that waxer off. Uh, well, I'm going to go soak in my salty tears right now, and then I'm going to give it another run in Kobolds and Catacombs Dungeon Run. This expansion so far is looking like a gem, in my opinion. Or maybe it's just because I miss Hearthstone. Just being honest there. Everybody, if you like the Dungeon Runs, if you're liking these gameplay videos, if you're liking Kobolds and Catacombs, like this video. It really helps the channel. Comment your thoughts on the specific dungeon run. I mean, shame you can't spam salt shakers in the comment section in YouTube. Maybe someone knows how to do it. And if you're really liking what I do on this channel, drop it a sub. I really appreciate that. Helps boost this channel. And it motivates me to continue making more of these lovely videos. I ask people as well, leave in the comment section ideas you have for videos, mainly on the gameplay side of it, anything Blizzard related. And... Possibly I will get to it, maybe even feature the comments. 
of who leaves it. That's actually a pretty solid idea. If I do do it, I'm going to feature your comment in the video. Great idea, Frozen. Glad we thought of it. Everybody, I want to thank you for watching this first impression dungeon run. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Hopefully, I will see you in the next video. Later. They're gaining on you, your options are few And you fear that you're never gonna get home You sought after wealth, will you lose all your health To kobolds and catacombs yeah! It's kobolds and catacombs